Hello guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be doing who is coming towards you. So my guys told me this could be uh, whenever I upload this, so the month that I upload this, so either August or September, it can be in that month that you meet this person, but it also can be timeless if, you've, if you're watching this after September. So let's get started. We have group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. So let's see who is coming towards you. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's see who's coming towards you. So we have sexuality, smoky quartz, clearing negativity, release negativity from within or around you. King of swords, king of pentacles, five of cups, Watch your words, dragonfly spirit, uh, truth transcends illusions, coyote spirit, trust in divine detours, we also have bring your ideas to life, flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between, the answers you need are coming, a time to give rather than take and look at the bigger picture. So this person I feel like could be either an earth sign or an air sign, could even be water as well. I don't really see a fire, I don't really feel fire either. They feel very kind of watery or like soft. So I feel like when I feel into an Aries or say a Sagittarius, I feel more of like a fiery energy obviously because it's a fire sign. Okay, so for you guys, I feel you or this person is clearing out negativity to do with sexuality. This could be to do with intimacy issues, this can be just generally like, kind of how to interact with people and you're learning how to interact with people. Um, this person I feel like is really good with their words but they actually can be a bit too aggressive sometimes. They possibly can be a little bit too blunt. Uh, I feel like it could also be a Virgo when it comes to, <clears throat> when it comes to um, their, like who they are. I feel like when it comes to them being a fire sign uh, or an earth sign, wow my brain's really confused right now. So I feel like with the advice to meet this person, I feel like you just need to kind of clear out your negativity. I feel like there's there's advice in here also, not just about who this person is. I feel like you guys just need to trust that this person's coming in and embrace in between moments when you feel like there's no one coming in or basically there is some sort of element that needs to be moved. Um, and I feel like it could be you possibly focusing on the past. This person I feel like is very good at looking at bigger pictures. They're very good at kind of being like, okay, let's sort this out. Let's see what's going on. They're not the sort of person to be like, oh, everything's bad, everything's awful. Like, I feel like they're very good at kind of motivating. It could even be a motivational speaker. So the answers you need are coming. I feel like basically because you're in this moment where you're in, in you're in, in the, oh my God, I can't speak. You're in the in-between at the moment. I feel like you just need to know that the answers you need are coming. You possibly could be focusing on the past too much, um, but let you know that the answers you need are coming. They are coming towards you, okay? And you just need to clear out all your negativity because I feel like this person is doing that also. So let's see uh, what sort of person they could be. What could be their kind of um, their career or their life purpose? Let's see what's kind of going on in that area. So this person could be to do with justice, could be someone who's in law. As I, say, I definitely feel like they use their throat chakra a lot. So I feel like it could be somebody who is possibly a lawyer or could even read tarot. Um, I feel like it could like like to give advice as well. And basically it's saying that you're on the right path, keep doing what you're doing. So I feel like that's a message for you and this person that both of you are on the right path and you will meet together very, very soon. I'm getting summer. So it could be summer next year or summer this year. So yeah, let go. Let go of the past. Let go of expectations for this person. And just let you know that you, when you are with this person, you'll feel so free. I feel like this person is just so like free. It just feels really, really good, okay? So let's see in terms of zodiac signs. Let's see what other zodiac signs come out for this person. I feel like you could actually meet this person in September also. For some of you, it's summer next year or this year. And I feel like for some of you, it could be um, uh, September as well. I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to be starting a new course. And I feel like you could actually meet this person on that course because a lot of people start courses in September. So I feel like it could be pretty accurate. Oh, wow. So we have two fire signs. See, that's interesting. We also have, oh, we have Taurus as well. So we have Aries, Taurus, Leo, Libra, Virgo, and Pisces. So hopefully one of those resonates for you. 
In terms of timing, I have a little timings envelope. So let's have a look into my timings envelope and let's see what's going on. Just give me a number. Uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We have 10 months, we have four months, and we have 10 days. Wow. So 10 is obviously going to be really prominent for you guys. I feel like you guys are going to be starting a new chapter. So essentially, that is that 10. That's the completion. So if you guys um, are not sure when this person is coming in, that is them, okay? 10 months, 10 days, um, four months. So as I said, could be in summer. Could be next summer, but it could also be in four months. So what would that be from where? August, September, October, November, December. So yeah, for you guys, it could be around. So to put it into perspective, there's a lot of options here. So in 10 months, that would be August, um, July, June. So you could meet, yeah, I'd say next summer. I definitely feel like for a lot of you, you're going to meet them next summer. Um, but for some of you, you could actually meet them in winter at the end of this year as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If this resonated with you, give it a big old thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below. Um, if you would like to subscribe to this channel, feel free to. I would love to have you here. If you'd like a private reading with me, all the information is down below. You can email me at victoriaheretoinspire at gmail.com or you can message me on Instagram. So thank you so much for being here. I love you guys so much and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's see who is coming towards you. So let's see if we can brighten this up a little bit. It's looking a bit dark. Let's see who's coming towards you. So we have make music. We also have calcite, busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. We then have the Nine of Swords, a chariot. Learn from the past. Take time out. Freedom is yours. Nothing is yet set in stone and you and your loved ones are safe. Let's put these two here so you can actually see them. <laughs> Let's pull these over here. Okay, so for you guys, I feel like for this person is very busy. You or this person could be very busy. When I describe this person, I am literally describing you as well. So if it resonates for you, then it will resonate for this being this person. I feel like this person is learning a new instrument or they just generally love music. I feel like they're very, very grounded. Um, there also could be a Leo, I'm feeling like a grounded Leo, um, or a Virgo, or an Aries, Capricorn, Scorpio, yeah, Leo, that's all I'm getting. Possibly a Sag as well, and obviously a Cancer in here. This person is very, very busy. I feel like they could take, need to take time out when they get a bit too busy. Everything could get a little bit too on top of each other. And at the moment, they are learning from their past. They're thinking, why is no one coming towards me? Why am I so single? Why is everything so crappy? <laughs> that kind of energy. <clears throat> okay, so basically, you guys are going to be learning from the past. This person is definitely a love interest. Um, and in terms of the chariot, this person is coming towards you. The more you learn from the past, the quicker this person is going to come in, okay? Same, same for the other group, I'm getting summer. So I feel like possibly this year or next year, summertime. Um, and you and your loved ones are safe. Just know, work on your safety and know that once you feel more safe, you'll feel more free. Um, and I feel like for some of you could be a Cancerian or a Scorpio, who just feel, or a Pisces, who feels just a little bit kind of bogged down by everything and feels like they need a bit of time out. And just to let you know, guys, if you are feeling stuck, nothing is set in stone. So this person is coming forward for you, whether you like it or not, basically. They're coming forward for you and they're not going to stop until they, they find you. It's that gorgeous, like, determined energy. And let's see what else is coming forward. So let's pull some more cards from the tarot. Okay, so this person is currently leaving something from the past behind. As I said, they're learning from the past. They're learning something and then leaving it behind. And now they're ready for a new start. They're going to be really busy with work, but I feel like they're going to be able to meet you in that time. They're going to have a really good balance of when they meet you. It's going to be they're really busy in work, but they're also going to be really kind of like determined to be around you. So yeah, once the tower kind of happens, they find their new job possibly. It could be in between jobs. Once they find the job that they desire, they're going to come towards you. This person is determined. As I said, they're going to come in whether you like it or not. Like, they are determined. They're, they've constantly got this energy of, like, leaving something behind. So they definitely are leaving something that they don't want behind, which is amazing. That's a really good energy to be in. Um, I feel like this person's very caring. For some reason, I'm getting they're wearing a hat or they could have a beard. Um, I feel like they could want to plait your hair. It's so random, but I feel like that's what I'm getting. 
I'm getting also a tube of Smarties, so they could like sweets or chocolate. They could play a musical instrument. They could play um, a guitar or a flute or drums. Could be a rocker for some of you guys. Could be someone who's very t who's like tattooed up, who like is in a band, that sort of thing. Um, for some of you, they could be ginger or brown haired. For the guys, I'm seeing more brown hair. For the girl, I'm seeing ginger. Whoa, got a lot of cards. I feel like this person's very spiritual, could almost be like a hippie kind of person. Very spiritual, very kind of free spirited, um, very artistic. Um, and they also love to kind of express themselves with their creativity. Um, they don't like to be bogged down and tied down. So I feel like they, they want to be free all the time. Um, they love yoga. They're a healer, I feel like definitely. And they're very good at kind of and bringing in abundance to themselves they could be a writer they could be an energy healer they could be someone who um, works on a blog or loves books I just feel like they're just extremely sensitive overall so it basically means that they are very connected to themselves and they're very sensitive and they may just need a lot of time away just to kind of think about things and to kind of reset okay so in terms of star signs let's see who's coming towards you I feel like they're going through a transformation right now because I'm very connected to these butterflies that are on this card so let's have a look and see what star signs could be i'm definitely getting virgo vibes like proper like earthy cancerian aquarius gemini pisces yeah very light energy they're light it's, they're a light person but they're also very grounded leo and Taurus and Aries. Sorry, there's so many cards. I just want to pick all of them. So yeah, that's all of the star signs, guys. I do definitely feel like this person's very, very watery, but they're very grounded about it, which is like a perfect combination. Um, yeah, and I feel like the need to get my little crystal cat out. So I feel like it could um, love cats. They could love animals because they're very sensitive. They do love animals um, and they're very grounded. I feel like this is just like their spirit animal. I feel like a cat could be their spirit animal. They also like ice skating I'm getting um, and they like sport. Whoa, there's a dragon, there's two dragonflies outside of my window right now. That's crazy because we literally had the dragonfly spirit. Oh my God, guys, that's crazy. Because we, I never see dragonflies. If you see a dragonfly, guys, that is a massive confirmation for you, okay? That and horses for sure, okay? So that is your reading. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Oh, also, let's get a timing. When will you meet this person? Two, one, two. I feel like this person is your counterpart, like they are meant to be with you, okay? So that's why I'm getting the number two. I'm getting like two of cups, that sort of thing. You can meet this person in winter or autumn this year in one month. You can also meet them in two, one to two years. I feel like you could meet them in one, to two, in one month. Um, but then you could like be with them for one to two years or one to two years could just be a very significant thing for you. Okay guys. So as I say, thank you for watching. Um, if you would like to like this video, comment down below if it resonated. If it didn't resonate, then just let it fly. If you'd like to subscribe, I'm <coughs> sorry, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, the red button is down below. And if you'd like to get a private reading with me, all the information is down below in the description box. I have all my options links down below. Um, and if you'd like to message me to connect with me for a private reading, you can message me on Instagram or you can email me at victoriaheretoinspire at gmail.com. So thank you so much for being here. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hi, group number three. Let's see who you've got coming towards you. I'm getting September very strongly for you guys. So I feel like you could actually meet this person in September uh, this year. So you've got body movement, rose quartz, love life, new or renewed romance love is here for you. Wow. I didn't even know this was a card in this deck. Um, wow, okay then. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, definitely a romance for you guys. A lot, all these groups are pretty much aimed at romance, but that's like a massive clarification. So you've got Ace of Swords, Four of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Let's put that there and let's put those two there. We've also got Peacock Spirit, Let It Shine, Hummingbird Spirit, Be Here Now. It's time to take action. And you've also got our new romantic cycle begins. Holy crap. Guys, I did not make this stuff up. I shuffled really, really well. 
Oh my god, you guys have someone coming towards you, definitely. Holy crap, there is someone coming through really strongly. Your advice basically is to let yourself be seen, okay? Be authentic, because this person is like moving towards you, okay? There's somebody who's like very energetic, there's somebody who probably likes running, um, and there's somebody who really focuses on being here now, or they may struggle with this, so they're basically, the more they do this and the more you do this, the more you will be connected. You could actually be connected in terms of meditation, so if you meditate, uh, you can actually connect with this person. I feel like pink is very strongly connected to this person. So if you see a lot of pink around or you start incorporating pink in your house or you start wearing more pink or pink jewellery, look out for that, okay? I'm getting somebody who's wearing a cap, someone who skateboards, someone who wears glasses. Uh, there's lots of different figures here, so take it as it resonates. Someone who likes tennis, um, chocolate. Someone who likes chocolate um and look out for dragonflies also guys similar to group number three sorry group number two yeah look out for dragonflies butterflies ladybirds um this person is very connected to you like hands down they need to meet you that's pretty much what it is they're on the verge of like meeting you like very strongly um, they're like determined, okay? They're going to be determined to want to be with you. There's somebody who's very action orientated, very masculine, which is gorgeous. Obviously, this is a female you're looking into. They could be just very action orientated. Obviously, they're be, still being very feminine, but they're very action orientated, okay? So we also have the Four of Wands. So Four of Swords. Four of Swords. Ah, can't sleep today. The universe is basically telling you to chill out because this person is coming towards you and they're very chilled. Like, this person is kind of chilled. So some of you I feel like they're very action orientated so they can be a little bit stressed out so that's why I need to be here in the now but for some of you like god you guys have got a really good group and I keep seeing dragonflies today damn and also we, we got the dragonfly spirit somewhere I can't I think I put it back but we did have the dragonfly spirit for group number two I think where is it okay I've lost it now well it's obviously meant to come out at that time then <laughs> okay so let's see any other information about this person wow look at that we've got the emperor and we've got the queen of pentacles two very strong powerful individuals this person is going to be so grounded i really like this person they're very like mature so they're going to know what they want i feel like they've been single for a long time at least three or four five six years ace of cups I knew this was going to come out look and it's literally just aligned with the rose quartz oh, this, is, this is a beautiful reading guys this person is meant to be with you yeah you're going to have a shake up What's going to happen after the tower? Yep, balancing yourself out. Gorgeous. So after this tower moment, I feel like you guys are going to be extremely fiery together. You guys are going to be like magnetic, like electricity. And you guys are going to be balanced out. I think once you meet this person, you're going to feel like, holy shit, I never thought I could be this balanced. You know, I never thought I could really kind of take care of myself. And therefore, the more I take care of myself, the more balanced I'll be. Obviously, you don't have to have someone to be balanced, but I feel like this person will show you how to be more balanced. Yep, Wheel of Fortune, gorgeous. A new a new start is coming for you guys. That card whacked me in the face. <laughs> I feel like this person's just going to suddenly come in. Oh my God, the lovers. Yes, so you guys are not going to expect this. I feel like you guys have gone through a lot of crap, a lot of bad situations. I feel like you're not going to expect this person coming in um, because you're like, I'm never going to meet anyone like no one is meant to meet me i'm not meant to meet anybody else and be really sassy i can see somebody flicking your hair um i feel like you're gonna properly go into like sassy mode where you're gonna be like no one's gonna meet me no one's gonna want to meet me but actually this person really wants to freaking meet you they want to come towards you they could be somebody from abroad from a different country um but they are like full on determined to meet you they're like bitch i've been for a lot of shit let's get together because i am so like ready to meet you it's almost like they know that you're the right person because they've been through so much hurt they know that you're the right person okay so let's get a little bit more information on this person what's their life purpose or career nutrition so they could be very muscly they could really work on their body um they could also be a cook um i'm getting in the back of my head really itchy so i'm not sure if any of you got an itchy head right now they could be very intellectual, I feel like. Um, you're going to be very attracted to their mind. They love flowers, or you love flowers. There's just some sort of flower element. Possibly like you're both blossoming and blooming. Options. Yeah, gorgeous. So you guys, I feel like 
are going to be more balanced and this there's like scales here and i'm really kind of looking at that with the temperance you're going to balance yourself out yeah trust this person's coming in this person could be a speaker as well like a motivational speaker they're very in tune with their emotions they may not actually like like if you tell them oh right you're in tune with their emotions they'll be like no i'm not or for some of them they might be more obviously in tune for others they get it's just all the all of them it's gonna be very like very much so healers they're very going to be very kind of intuitive and they're going to know what people need in terms of their nutrition and giving people like food plans and things like that yeah they're also very good on a spiritual level in terms of like healing so they could be very good in healing in terms of food and kind of giving nutrition advice but they're also very good in terms of like their healing body and i'm getting really kind of like ugh, like aggressive not in like a, a no not aggressive like very powerful i'm getting like a really powerful like like someone bashing like someone punching a wall and it like cracking open and everything just exploding i'm getting that massive massive like just you guys so meant to meet this person but honestly jesus christ <laughs> okay let's have a look give me number three one two three let's see what timing is happening for you guys and one more two three okay right you guys are possibly going to meet this person in winter which would be about four months when you're if you're watching this video when i've uploaded it or just generally in winter so it could be this year i think the year you're watching this it will be that year of winter okay we've also got one month so yeah definitely in september you can meet this person to september 2019 if not it will be next year or just in the winter months and in 10 days oh my god you guys can actually meet each other in 10 days that is crazy okay guys so if you don't meet this person in this this winter this year which i think you actually could do because if it's that'll be like december time september october november december january yeah january december january time 2019 to 2020 you guys would meet i feel like wow holy shit this is great oh my god i love this group ah okay okay let's see what zodiac sign this person could possibly be sorry guys my head is really not yeah it's all over the place so let's have a look okay zodiac signs zodiac signs this person could be a libra or an aries they're very loud because i feel like i'm speaking louder than normal okay got cancerian aries libra there we go sag and let's get one more leo yeah definitely i was feeling that and we've also got taurus underneath we've got scorpio so yeah i feel like there could be a possibly taurus or a scorpio but more likely there could be a leo sag libra cancer or aries so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number four let's get started with your reading let's see who is coming towards you so we have awakening your true self detoxification rubellite passion and purpose your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart that's well cute i didn't even know that card was in the deck <laughs> um we've also got the empress the world strength scarab beetle spirit let's move this over here and we can put the tarot here there we go that's better what's butter scarab beetle spirit <laughs> Wow. Scarab Beetle Spirit magic works through you. Wasp Spirit sometimes life stings. Layer solid foundation. Adjustments are required. And we also have what do you need to release? Wow. So this person's currently going through a transformation. I feel like this person is feeling a little bit sad. And for some reason, I'm getting the name Carl. I'm not sure if that resonates for any of you guys. Carl, Colin yeah pretty much lay a solid foundation awakening your true self this person is awakening the true self and yet this is why they're going through so much shit because they're awakening the true self like their true self is coming forward so strongly it's like they can't deny it okay and i keep getting the dragonfly spirit like the dragonfly is really kind of like coming for me like coming for me in all these readings like uh two three and four all of you guys are all to do with the dragonfly which is absolutely amazing i just think it's just ultimate transformation um and you guys are just kind of releasing from the past um and sometimes life stings sometimes it's really crappy and i feel like this person is just needs the strength because at the moment what's happening here is they're basically going through um 
a time where they're going through a time when they need strength to get through this new there's a new thing coming for them like a new experience coming for them and they're basically having to embrace this energy and um having to go forward basically and yeah it's like once they've gone through this once they've gone through this like kind of bad time and they've detoxified i feel like they're going to be the most gorgeous version of themselves and i feel like once they do that you're going to end up meeting them because i feel like they need to go through this to get to get to the other side um, they once they do this I feel like they're going to start going into more of what they are passionate about I feel like it could be a doctor <clears throat> jewelry maker um this is so random confectionery I'm getting like sweets so they could actually like sell sweets or they could make sweets they could be a cook could be a skateboarder I feel like they could also learn a musical instrument like a guitar I'm getting like a strum like um they love music love Spotify and things like that so let's see what else is coming through for you guys <clears throat> yeah this person is just full-on like awakening them true self and it's just magic work through you that like, these two colors are really similar as well so i feel like that's extremely connected they're just trying to ground themselves and just to kind of get their own they're just trying to understand yeah i got yeah flowers okay so they could sell flowers it could be a florist um or they could work with flowers and like herbal remedies things like that they could do yoga, they could be in school for flowers or yoga, like to learn how to be a florist or learn how to be like a herbalist. I'm getting like an orth orthodontist or, or orthopedics, I'm not sure what that is, but they could be doing that as they possibly like a doctor, someone who really helps out. Could be an author, could be to do crystals. And I feel like they, for some of you, I feel like they're very good at being in a leadership role. Not Not all of you, because I feel like some of you, they're very some of these people are very sensitive so possibly wouldn't want to do that yeah and as i said they could be learning a musical instrument i'm seeing like a drum or a guitar i actually meant to say guitar first of all and then a drum came out so maybe a drum i feel like they like acdc um and they like acoustic music so they they do like like a very much big variety of music and they love concerts um <clears throat> let's see what else about this person I'm getting the word April, so I feel like they could be born in April, you could be born in April, or they could, this is random, they're telling me they could work in April, okay, that's interesting, you can meet this person in April, wow, King of Cups, I mean, Knight of Cups, not King of Cups, okay, jeez, yeah, so you guys are going for a massive death, oh, wow, <laughs> You guys are going for a massive death process together, obviously, you're not, if you're not with, you won't be with this person, I mean, like, separately, Yep, two of cups underneath, gorgeous. You guys are meant to me, okay? I feel like a Leo could connect you two together. For some reason, I'm really connecting with that. Um, so I feel like possibly you have a Leo friend who knows um, who this person is. Or they, they could be a Leo. They don't have to be a Leo, but they could just have, like, Leo qualities. <clears throat> they have this, like, look at me, look at me kind of vibe. Um, obviously, not all Leos are like that, but that's kind of what I'm getting. We have somebody who's, yeah, definitely working on their finances they're going to be like right i need to quit my job moving on and then they're going to like quit their job they're going to have like a judgment time somebody who's very grounded very emotional they can be a little bit conflicting between their emotions they kind of like don't know if they want to like it's kind of so random they don't know if they want to have sex or they want to have a cuddle it's like that sort of feeling of like they're conflicting so they could be in two minds about something it could be a gemini or a cancerian um yeah i feel like they are very airy fairy so they can be quite like airy they can do go from one thing to another but they also can be quite stubborn like they don't realize when they're getting stuck in something and they could just end up being like that for quite a long time but i genuinely feel like the universe is pushing them to be like look bitch <laughs> look you need to get out this job and stop being so stubborn so basically that's that and they're gonna have this new opportunity i feel like once this opportunity comes around that's when you're gonna meet them and they're gonna offer you the cup okay so let's have a look in terms of zodiac signs who this person is and then we'll look at the timing libra sag taurus capricorn virgo and pisces and then maybe have cancer in so yeah definitely always feeling that oh okay so yeah definitely someone's very loving someone who's very romantic and um, very driven as well wow this person is really sexy um, I'm seeing for a guy could have short brown hair, blue eyes, or greyish eyes. Um, for a girl, black hair, blue eyes, 
green eyes. For a girl, it could also be blonde or ginger. For a guy, yep, definitely just brown hair. I'm not seeing any other colours. Could even be grey hair. So it depends on your age. It's, oh, could be grey hair as in like they don't have to be that old. I and mean, they could be older. Um, but they could also have their hair dyed grey as well. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at timings. Give me a number. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, I'm going to have a big clump. I don't know if that's that many, but... Okay. I feel like a lot of you have chosen group number four because there's a lot here. No, this is too many. Okay, I'm going to pull out and I'll pull out again because that's too many. Okay, give me a number again. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so in terms of timing, you can meet this person winter or springtime. So this is going to obviously be at the end of the year. So it could even start meeting this person around September time onwards, okay? So between like September and April. I did get April, didn't I? So I definitely feel like you could meet this person then, okay? So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, comment down below. If you'd like to subscribe, feel free to. Um, if you want to get a private reading with me, then all the information is down below in the description box. <clears throat> you can connect to me through email or Instagram. Uh, and yeah, if you didn't, if you did not bring it, you just let it fly. I'll choose another group. So thank you so much for being here. I love you, love you, love you, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.